exhilarating. Leaders need to pick up the pace. It has been a rough 20 months. It's been about being steady, offering confidence and reassurance, keeping people safe. This is always a leadership priority, but it has dominated our work, our lives, and our existence more than we ever needed and ever imagined. We have some magnificent leaders who have kept us calm and navigated a horrific storm. A recent presentation by John Hattie suggested we are overestimating the impact of COVID on learning. When we look at the pandemic, the reality is our students and staff have learned a lot that they would never have learned. The regular measures of progress and achievement have to really be thought about with a critical lens. We've got caught up in compassion and perhaps are cutting too much slack and offering too many excuses because of what we've been through. I don't know. What are you doing differently now? What are the strengths that your team have that you never believed they have? What are those points of brilliance? What are you going to hang on to and what are you going to get rid of? It's time to stop and assess. A little bit of a gap analysis with slightly different questions. What do we stop doing? What do we need to keep doing? And what do we need to start doing? Answer those three. No one could argue that the pandemic hasn't made an impact. But are we using it as a prop to stop us from moving forward? Are we allowing it to be an excuse? Are we allowing it to stop us from accelerating? Hattie suggested, based on a series of impact analysis from the UK, that the impact of the pandemic on learning has had the same effect size as perhaps the summer effect, a summer vacation break. And if so, then what happens next? Are we focused on learning? Have we really thought about maximising the learning time we have with students? What do the students have to say about their learning and how they want to learn now? Have you asked or are we assuming? Similarly, have we asked teachers? What are you assessing? And so, what are you appraising? Are you leading these conversations with people? What place does teamwork, agility, resilience, innovation, application of learning, critical thinking have in your evaluation system? Are, these thing, are there things in your evaluation system and processes that are absolutely no longer relevant? I think there's a whole lot of learning and conversation to happen. Are we back into lesson study and you know observing and, and sorting out best practice, looking for efficacy, building efficacy, learning conversations about learning, not just data. Are you resourcing learning? Are you focused on in-class support? What do your teachers need to relearn or unlearn? A huge message is to stop assuming. I can't say it enough. Stop guessing as to how you think the pandemic has impacted. Start asking. Stop making excuses. The time is now. Get back into learning and accelerate. Accelerate your teams like you've never accelerated before. Expect more. Push for more. Support more. Learn more with your team. Insist that learning happens and learners succeed. Create this urgency, but can we get back to learning?